and good evening to all my viewers out there. A very beautiful Friday evening here by the shores of the St. Lawrence. I know you can't really see much. Uh, nice little lights in the horizon, though, all kind of beacon lights and uh, airplane lights and just regular lights on the horizon. This is uh, towards St. Catharines, Quebec, the South Shore. Um, and this is uh, Lachine, LaSalle Lachine area. And if you look in the distance, you're going to see in a minute the Place Ville Marie light. There it was right there. You can kind of make the oratory out there. You can kind of make the, the oratory out there a little bit right there. It's that light in the middle there. On the horizon there. Uh, it's hard to focus here, but uh, again, you'll see that Place Ville Marie light in, coming around in a minute. You may have seen it right there. So uh, right here in Lachine, by the beautiful shores of the St. Lawrence. Again, nothing to see here because it's, it's nighttime. But what I wanted to show my viewers was, uh, just to give you an idea, um, as you all know by now, I, I love biking. Um, and that includes biking at nighttime. And what I wanted to do here is to show my viewers, I know it's not the most exciting video, it's, it could be pretty boring, but, you know, I just decided to make it anyway. Uh, you know, when I bike at nighttime, this is how I set my bike up um, basically I have these two lights here in the front I have here this uh, OptiCube light cat eye it's called and that's my main light for uh, seeing in front of me try to focus in on the light there it's pretty bright in the distance and of course that illuminates the road in front of me and then I have this other light here this is a secondary light it's more of a beacon light uh, you know so traffic can see me from a distance now technically I'm only by law needed to have one light but I chose to have two as a precaution and then in the back here But all these lights here, they can be modified in terms of their patterns. So, for example, this main navigating light right here, I have the choice if I want to to turn it into a beacon light as well. You can see there it has the flash option, and this one as well beside it, I can turn it into a stationary light. And if I want, I can turn them both into stationary lights or both into uh, beacon lights. So you can see there, depends on, you know, depends on the circumstances. Over here, same thing with this light. It has three patterns, this light. It has this one. It has this one, it's less rapid blinking, and it has this one, the stationary one. I tend to keep it on this one. I'm gonna probably keep it on this one for the rest of the night. Um, and this one here, I usually have this light on stationary, and this light here on flashing mode. Or sorry, the other way around. This one here is usually on stationary, this one's on flashing mode. And uh, you know, it all depends on the, the situation. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with my viewers. And this is the view from the front of the bike when you get on. You can kind of see it, the illumination effect there. Um, this runs on batteries. I'll try to show my viewers here. Open it up a bit. Just basic uh, batteries. Triple A's, I believe. And this one here is a built-in battery. So, uh, this, you know, should last at least half the summer before the batteries need changed on either of them. Depends how much night riding I do. By the way, this can come off. They both can. This comes off, see? So if I'm out and I want to, say I get to a nice wooded area and I want to explore, just take the light off of here, lock the bike up, and then they can walk around with it. There's the uh, nighttime view of the bike. That broken spoke is on that wheel. I have to get that fixed. A hundred bucks, you know. Um, but I mean, the wheel's a bit bent, but it's 
not as bad as when it was bent the first time earlier in the summer. So I might put that repair off for now. Eventually just invest in a whole new bike. I had this bike for about three years now, I think. So anyway, I wanted to share that with my viewers here. You know, a nice little idea of my nighttime riding. Show you a nice view here as well. So yeah, I mean, gives you an idea of how to prepare your bike at night, you know, so it's safe and recognizable. So uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up now, save some battery, and uh, you can see some planes coming into land to Trudeau Airport down there over the water. Very nice little views actually. So uh, yeah, that's about it for tonight, and uh, I'll see you all soon.